how you doing? Welcome back to this week's Challenge Tuesday with me, Dr. Benji. Uh, I didn't have an original German name, so I thought this would be the best way to do it. Uh, just go on a random German ne name generator. How do they get that from my name? Okay, we'll put that in. They win. They've won this. They've won this round. Anyway, to the game. So then, for this episode, we are going to be, well, first of all, we're going to be Leopold von Frankfurter, which sounds very much like Ben Carr. Anyway, we're going to be Paderborn, uh, a little bit behind Paderborn. It's the first season they've ever been in the Bundesliga, the top division uh, in their entire history, and they came second in the second division of Germany, and it's my job to keep them up. Uh, this is the first time I've had to face a relegation battle. I guess we'll go through... We'll, uh, we'll get to the end of the window. We'll see if we can make any changes. We'll see if we've got a budget to start off with. Uh, looks like we've got a couple of players who are okay. Someone called Duckish. That's going to be interesting. Uh, hopefully he can fly to victory. I, I, that wasn't very good, was it? I shouldn't have said that. Uh, anyway, so I'll get to the end of the window. We'll see where we're at. And then, uh, obviously, as usual, I'll update you throughout the season on our progress. So welcome back. We are a day away from our first league fixture and I thought what we'd do is run you through the transfers that we made in the summer. Now, the big issue with Paderborn is that they massively overachieved last season. It is undeniable that they went from 12th to 2nd, uh, got promoted. The finances are a bit of a mess and they're already 4 million in the red. So to bring players in was always, 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 always going to be difficult. Uh, so how do we cope with it? You may be wondering. So... The free transfer market was a place that I enjoyed. Um, I Okay, let me show you the system before I show you the transfers so the transfers make a little bit more sense. So we're going to get hammered in a lot of games, I figure. So the best way to counteract that is to not concede loads and loads and loads of goals. So we're going with the three at the back, two wing backs, uh, two central midfielders, both playing more defensive roles than attacking roles, with an attacking midfielder and two poacher advanced forward, advanced forward strikers. So... The idea is, if we score, it'll be on a breakaway down the wing, pushing it forward and hoping that these wing-backs really support the attacks when they need to, but sit in and defend. Like we're playing narrow because I want us to sit deep and defend narrow and not let players just work their magic in between us. I want us to be a solid unit. So that's the idea behind that. I, I thought, defensively, we didn't look that good. So I thought defensive midfielders, a centre-back or two, will do us just fine. Uh, you'll already see there, Papa Vupadi up. Brought him in injured for two months immediately. So that was a good sign in Ben. Well done. Um, Vukic is the first one I want to look at. He's the attacking midfielder. Although at 34, you may think that's far too old. This is only a one season thing. So the idea was to get someone with the te technical attributes and the mental attributes to actually do something in this league. The physicals, I wasn't too worried about. He's not going to be working that hard. He's going to be waiting for the ball and then trying to create something. That was his role in the team. Uh, elsewhere, uh, Stefan Boll was the next one. Just a central midfielder of just all-round ability. He's not great in any area, but he's just another one. We didn't have a lot of this type of player, funnily enough. We didn't have a player that was just solid all-round. We had a lot of players. Let me show you an example. Let me try and hopefully pick out an example. Like this chap, who's good in certain situations, but then mentally he's just not there. Physically he's not there. And uh, the guy I brought in, whose name now escapes me, <laughs> is a bit more well-rounded. Uh, but well, that's the one. Uh, Papa de Bipa Diop, you've cut, you, you all know about him, you've heard of him. Um, he's not got the physicals anymore in terms of pace, but in terms of strength and balance and his mentals are very good, tackling's very good. If we need him towards the back end of the season just to put a shift in with his experience, I think he will do that. Uh, and he was free, so that's the, that's the most important thing. Uh, another guy called Stefan, who's Asanka? 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 Yeah, we'll go with Asanka. Uh, actually a buy from Red Bull Salzburg. We got about 300k in transfer budget. I spent a little bit of it. Another defensive midfielder. Um, as I mentioned, I was looking for players that were well-rounded. I wasn't really that bothered about players that offered me just little things in certain areas. I wanted players that were well-rounded and could put a shift in. Like, he can play central midfield and he can play centre-back okay. Like He's okay in those areas and that's why I needed someone with a little bit of versatility as well, which is always important. And strength, again, is a big thing uh, throughout this squad. The final guy I brought in was an experience... As you can see, a lot of exper experience in the team. I was worried we weren't going to have enough... Um, so what a French centre-back called uh, Brescia, Jeremy Brescia, I think that's how you say it. 
Um, I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong. Good leadership ability, something I was really like looking forward towards the back end of the transfer window. I, obviously, there's still to go, but I'd like to have a settled squad before the first game of the season. Uh, if you can bring someone in on loan, that's slightly different. But you've got OK heading, OK marking, OK tackling. Should be OK in this division. Um, obviously, looking at the division, the preview suggests it's going to be tricky. Uh, we are 2,000 to 1 to win the league and obviously the teams down here are the teams we're going to be battling with to stay up it's going to be an almighty task uh, whether I can pull it off or not I don't know if we finish 16th that will be interesting because we'll have to play a playoff to see if we can survive um, so let's get into it I'm going to go probably quite a few games into the future maybe 12 or so games into the future and I'll see you then so welcome back uh, it's going okay let's put it this way it's not going as badly as I thought it would go Um but it's not going great, I'll say that much. So the first thing I thought I'd show you, uh, if you look at the appearances, you'll notice we've had a very subtle team. Um, throughout the entire season, it's just been consistently the same. I've not changed it around. That may start to become a problem. As you can see, some players aren't that fit right now, which may come back to haunt me. Uh, our top performer, undoubtedly, has been the 34-year-old attacking midfielder that I was raving about. He's, he's got two goals, one assist, and that on paper doesn't look that good. But in reality, we're actually doing all right in the cup as well. Um, amazingly, we're in the third round. I don't, I don't know how it's happened. We've beaten uh, Bernberg, and then we've beaten Firth. Great names. And as you can see from our form, it started so well. Like, I could not believe how well it started. Um, we, were, <laughs> we were up there. I was thinking, this is it. We're going to win the league. Panamborn is going to win the league. But didn't quite work out like that uh Cologne put a quick stop to that or Colm how we said then it was Dortmund buying back to back and at that point I'm thinking oh god here we go uh then defeats to Gladbach Hoffenheim Frankfurt draw against Wolfsburg Wolfsburg no disgrace uh lost to Freiburg oh, sorry lost to HSV and then uh, a draw just not that long ago actually with uh with Freiburg so it's not gone terribly like a 1-0 loss to buy that's got to be the highlight really I know it's a loss and I know they've battered us, but it proves that we're not conceding like mass amounts of goals against the good teams. Dortmund beat us 4-0, so that kind of is contrary to what I've just said. But overall, uh, we are ninth. Sorry, ninth. We're not ninth. We've got nine points. Uh, two wins, three draws. It's not that bad. We're not, like, I honestly, I, my fear for this save after I was given it was, I hope we get a point, because otherwise it's going to be a little bit embarrassing. And, and this is no disgrace. Like I say, we're, we're ahead of a team right now. Uh, so we'll come back in 12 or so games. It'll be around the... We'll come back after Bayern. We'll see how Bayern went down. And I'll see you then. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this is... Um... Yeah, this is... It's been a, it's been a slog. It's, been a, it's not gone great, folks. I'll tell you now. Honesty is the best policy. If you draw your eyes down to the recent results... Eee, that's not gone the best, has it? Oh, no, look at that. So we scored two against Bayern I'll take that I think that's you know in the grand scheme of things that's not the worst thing that can happen you get to 2-2 two -two and you're thinking game on despite the fact we're getting bossed and then Lewandowski decides that no we're not having this who's this, who this Paderborn team I'm thinking ah oh, or Paderborn ah oh, Paderborn 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 so we have won another game uh, we beat Mainz 3-1 but they're not that good either really it's looking doubtful that we're going to be able to get out of the bottom three. The playoff, you know, we're still in with a small chance of reaching that. Uh, we've got about 10 games or so to go, 11 games to go, 12 games to go. It, it's it's tricky. Uh, we'll, we'll get towards the end. The, the top to, uh, top performer has arguably, well, not arguably, definitely been my man Marvin. My main man Marvin. He's not always scoring, scoring goals in victory. Sometimes he's scoring in defeat, but he's scoring goals. And actually, he may be a player to look out for. He's on loan from Dortmund. For a starter, um, look, look out for him on next year's FM. He may well be a player that really sets the scene alight. I don't know what it was like on last year's, um, but on this year's, he, he seems decent. Like, if he's scoring for Paderborn, then maybe he could score for you. Uh, yeah, so we'll go forward, we'll get towards the back end, um, and we'll see if we get into the playoff. It's not looking good, though. It's not looking good. What can I tell you? Uh. So, the season's over. I'd like to be able to tell you that. We did it. We stayed up. We got to the playoff. We didn't even get to the playoff. 22 points. No. Oh. This is the first real failure 
in terms of a challenge. Obviously, we didn't win the league with Milan. If you missed that, that was the last episode. We didn't win the league with Milan. We got the top four with United, so that was a completed one. Um, but this this is the this this one feels like a a, a mini success, but but um, but overall a failure. I won a few battles, but I certainly didn't win the war. Let me tell you that much. Uh, our end of season form, though, was pretty good. Like, obviously, the last time we met was at Bayern Munich. Um, since then, we only lost five games, drew four, won two. And do you know what? I, I'm t I can take a little bit of pride from that. I don't know why, but I feel like, you know what? It's been okay. Uh, and I thought what I'd do is I'd put the challenge to you now. See if you, you need an updated database. I'll say that much. You will need to uh, find the database. I'll link one in the description. Um, it's so difficult. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Um, they are just, they're a team full of battlers, you know. Um, I mentioned Marvin. Marvin, Mar Marvin picked up a knock. So that was him. That was the end of him uh, towards the back end of the season. <sighs> we just actually no. I think that was in the last. No, I tell a lie. That was in the last game. Um, it, it's just so difficult. It's so difficult. We we had some key performers. Like some of our centre backs were great. Um, the two boys at the back, Christian and Martin, bless them. Warriors throughout. It was just so like the, the the quality difference in this division is so big, and it beca it's because we've not had like this. A lot of teams you'll find in Germany go up, come back down, use that prize money from the top division, and then sort of catapult themselves back up again. And that's sort of the stability. Like in our balance right now, we've got eighteen million. You remember at the start of the season we had four million, and that was what we had to build on. Taking eighteen million into next season uh, w would be great. So like. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave this save now and the challenge could be to bounce back. Maybe leave that in the comments. But uh, as always, leave your suggestions in the comments. <sighs> There's not much to say. Like when you when you fail, it's like, I don't. what can you highlight? There's not much you can highlight. It's a shame. But if you've got any challenge suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I take every suggestion, every video will come from the comments. So leave something you want to do. I will say one thing though. Uh, it can only be a season long thing. It can't be more than two. So if you want me to take it charge of a league two club and get them into the champions league obviously that's more than a one season thing generally speaking and also if you could avoid like suggesting championship saves obviously i'm doing canary island and that started off in the championship so i'm going to try and avoid doing championship saves uh, from now on so that leaves us there uh paderborn as much as i've enjoyed your company it's not been a fruitful relationship has it but fear not and uh, for me dr benji i'll see you next time Goodbye.